Now, you should be asking yourself, why is it that you have a white Jesus on your wall versus a black Jesus? Have you ever seen any nation of a people have some holy figure that don't look like them? Common sense. But sense isn't common anymore, I guess. Sad, sad, but very, very, very true. What is power? Power is the ability, the ability to make phenomena, to create phenomena and make it act in one's own desire. Power. And you have that power, but I tell you, as long as you got that white Jesus hanging on your wall, you won't have no power. You will continue to be powerless. Straight up. We are very powerful people and your voice is very powerful. Black on black crime is a felony, you understand me? Black on black crime is a felony. Give it a rest. Give it a rest. Don't your brain deserve a rest from that shit? Like for real. But like I said, the more you read, the more your vocabulary evolves and the more your thinking evolves which leads you to other things, other places, other people, other conversations, open a whole lot of other set of doors for you. Uh, moving right along here. I wanna drop a jewel on you right now. Remember the Malaysian plane that's supposed to have went down a couple of years? Well, Intel, 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 and I mean some damn good Intel. They actually know what the fuck they talking about. Plane never did uh, disappear. Uh, it ended up landed at some British naval air base. There was some scientists on there, four of them in particular, and they had created a biochemical that would make you turn into a zombie. Okay, and they got killed and just so happens. The Carlisle Group got that thing right now. So if you didn't know about the Carlisle Group, investigate it, check it out. We're already in the valley of death and valley of decision. So what side are you gonna be on? And by all means, Get ready for war, get ready for war, get ready for war. You talking about the end of days and you believe in the Bible and all this stuff, but revelations is here. And if you are not prepared for this revelation, when these people come with these trucks and all of this stuff and cut off your food, your water and all this good stuff, I hope you be ready. Will you be ready? And make sure you got somebody that you can um, uh, live with for a specific amount of time, whether it be your family or not, okay? So if you ever uh, want to know um, what is what it's like here and what happened to us psychologically it's like a person uh putting some uh red liquid inside of the glass red liquid and then somebody came and said i wonder how you can uh make that uh that liquid different we we'll leave it red well take the liquid out and leave the paint and put another liquid in and that's exactly what happened to black folks when they came in slavery over here and also if you haven't watched the movie malcolm x Please watch that. Please watch that. And did you know Alex Haley, who wrote that book, who wrote Malcolm X, he died broke and they had to pay off his estate to pay for his funeral. Are you serious? And believe it or not, he didn't own the rights to anything to it. The publisher for Playboy magazine is the one who owned that. 